you have arrived at the KOE Nation. We got Wolf Wolf's Rain back. How are we doing, sir? And you are downloading a Bible app now. While a Bible app is good, and I use it on my phone all the time when I record um, uh, biblical verses of the week, it's always good to have a hard copy. It really is. And also, it, it just makes the point a lot better when you're in a discussion like, well, let's see what my favorite author, God, has to say on the issue. I just love it. I always love it. Um, Nice. Got it downloaded already. Well done. Well done. Now, the one thing uh, that that does do is it does make things like these a little bit obsolete. Uh, this is Mathis publishing uh, the word, the Bible from 26 translations. And as you can see, it starts with the assumption of the King James Bible. And wherever any major translation deviated a little bit, it would have it right there. Now, granted, for just straight up research, just having it all in front of you, this is still a great source. Now, unfortunately, it's old enough to the point where the English Standard Version is not included. So it's a bit dated, but I really like this one. It's, it's also a very pretty uh, King James Bible, if that's what you're into. Yeah, yeah, it actually is pretty cool and makes it quite quick to find any. Yeah, yeah, the either your app or this. Um, uh, yeah, and it's your your app is basically going to have almost any version, even some of the heretical versions, which you got to watch out. Um, like, there's one that just from what I've read and what I've heard, and like, I'm sure somebody would give a counter argument, and maybe if you know somebody who can, I'd love to hear them, but. One biblical translation that seems to be the butt of every joke is the passion translation because it literally just seems to be one guy is like, yeah, I just like, uh, I, I was told to change the Bible up a little bit. Hmm. There's been a lot of derivative heresies from people who've said they want to change up the Bible a little bit. And that's a problem. So that's why the passion translation is usually kind of like the butt of every joke. Um, like there was a pretty good one, a, a guy on, uh, uh, TikTok. I can't, I can't remember his name, but he was making fun of like uh, Bible prophecy YouTubers at 2 a.m. It's like, and now we know that Elon Musk is the Antichrist because he's going to put that Neuralink in your brain. It's going to stop people from reading the KJV translation. We're going to be reading just the NIH and NLT or God forbid the Passion Translation. I'm like, wow, that's funny. And it made me look up, uh, yeah, the Passion Translation is not uh, the most loved on. I would stick with uh, King James Version. Um, uh, that like that see like or English Standard Version. English Standard Version is the cleanest translation that I've found, anyways. But the uh, King James just the, the language is pretty because it's got the these, the vows, the arts, and the thighs. So if you're uh, very artsy, uh, or if you're into Shakespeare at all, yeah, KJV is where it's gonna be for you.